Hi, we are here in Kiel on the Ostseestrand on the beaches of Schleswig-Holstein and my name is Stefan Hörnberg. I'm the state selection beach volleyball coach of Schleswig-Holstein. This girl and these four young men are a part of the training group for today. You will see the other part later. They are all between 13 and 18 years old and they are eager to learn to learn the low and narrow game concept we will start with a little warm-up for the whole group now okay make your circle lena you can join us all right and we will start with shoulder rotations our regular warm-up contains rotations for the mobilization of our big joints of the shoulders the hip the knees, the ankles, even the fingers and the wrists as well. As always, hip rotation, hip, 10 times with a left leg, a wide circle, 10 times with the right leg. Now the other way around, from forward, we will start with warming up our hands and fingers at the same time. So this means we have a little balance workout as well. Left leg as well, and when we use the left leg, we can warm up our finger joints. But try to stand on one foot at the or the whole time, Matis. <laughs> okay, we move down our body to the knees and we warm up our knees. With a little pressure with the hands, Matis on the patella. Yes, 50 times please, up and down. 50. Okay, our ankles, 20 times each ankle, and Matis will show the warm-up for the uh, spine for the breast spine yeah okay you all know this exercise open up your body ten times each side and we warm up our spine with this rotating motion Okay, for our beach volleyball group, a good shoulder warm-up is mandatory. And Lena and Mats will show you one exercise, or the most important exercise, I should say, in, to strengthen your rhomboideus muscle. Okay, try to... All right. Do three series times 15, 20. The resistance should not be too high, the rubber band resistance. You can also circle it around your body. Okay, yes, now here's the part of the warm-up that you all know. 
the footwork, the running, the sprinting and the movement preps and we will start with ankle work to the net and back please. And back as well. A little bit quicker, the frequency should be a little bit higher. Okay, the same thing with the knees 10 centimeters higher, the skippings, very quick. Remember to use your arms as well. All right. Okay, we do the lazy side steps back and forth, very lazy, relaxed side step. There are millions of things you can do while running in the sand, so we just chose these. And now we do the hip rotation work, the Zamba towards the net and back. Quicker pellet, pellet, quicker, quicker, quicker. Quick, 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 quick. And now Josefina will show the movement prep that we do now. The big Ausfallschritt. Okay. With rotation. With the arms. Okay. For the weaker players, they can put the back knee on the surface but normally the knee should be one centimeter above the ground one centimeter above the ground all right we go back the same way in the same style And for the next exercise, I really don't know the English expression, so we do some Standwagensprünge. Everyone will see what we mean. All right, we do the Standwage and really horizontal, yes. And we jump forward again, the Standwage. Nice, really nice. Extend your leg, Matt. Yes. Okay, going back we do some sumo squats. Two steps, sumo squat, two steps. Matt know, knows how to do it. So, I cannot go as far as you can, but we try to go as deep as we can with an upright body. Okay, super. Everyone can do two series of sit-ups and two series of the bear exercise. We will show how it works. Sit-ups, please. 20. Again, there are so many types of sit-ups that everyone can choose from a large variety. Now we do the bear exercise. Lina, do you remember it? I think so. Yes. Go on your elbows, on your elbows, on your elbows. Okay, and the knees will be always one centimeter off the body. And now we walk 
a little bit. Now this is the, I don't know, the leopard exercise that you show, Matthias. It's different. <laughs> this is different. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different exercise. <laughs> Okay, we recommend for young athletes to do some intense rubber band practice in order to stabilize the knees and the hips and the controlling muscles. We do that by walks, sidestep walks and by squats. All right, the last part of our warm-up, always speed sprints. This time we work in pairs. The guy or the girl behind the player at the line rolls the ball without any signal forward. And the sprinting player has to get it before it crosses underneath the net. You can start whenever you want, but Lina behind Matis, otherwise you will see when you roll the ball. All right, switch, always switch. We do it three times. Go, 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 go. Before it crosses underneath the net, not after, please. But you know it. <laughs> always switch. Okay, when introducing beach volleyball to young players, especially young players who come from indoor volleyball, our main focus lies on ball control. How can we improve ball control? Of course, by improving technical skills, especially reception and setting, but also by giving them a game concept that helps them to gain control over the ball and over the opponent. This is our main topic for today, our so-called narrow and low game concept which will help all young players a lot and which is all also necessary in professional beach volleyball. Okay, we will start with a warm-up with the ball in pairs please and we will start with the tennis ball. I'll, I will give you some. We will warm up our shoulder with a half swing throw, please, with our strong hand. Half swing. Here, here. Half swing, not full swing. And with the left hand as well, or with a weaker hand. And we start with a full swing with a good hand, with a strong hand. Full swing throw, not too hard, controlled. Controlled, please. Open up your body a little bit, Lina. Okay. And the left hand will always be up towards the sun or towards the ball. Left hand points towards the ball. Okay, last throwing exercise. We throw the ball with closed eyes, but we catch it with open eyes. Just feel the whole motion. We will start with a beach volleyball, tennis ball to the coach. Okay. Controlled. Controlled hits to my partner and then ball control out of the 
half low lucky look position we defend the, bu the ball set it one time and catch it okay No, keep the set okay. in your area. This is the next exercise. Controlled hit. Very good. Okay. Okay, switch your positions so that you will have another wind influence. Now, controlled hit, defense, bump set to my partner and the partner plays a hand set back to me. I catch the ball and then I can swing. Okay. Yeah, bump set, hand set back. And now you, it's your turn, catch it, and then you play the hit. Nine, Lena did not pay attention. <laughs> Once again, I, I will help you, Lena. Control it. No, nope. defense in your area, and then you bump it back to Josefina. Defense, bump it, and then hand set to Josefina. And catch it, and now you can Hit. Bump, hands it back, catch it, okay. And now, okay. Very good, Josefina. No worries. Bump set back, okay. Once again. Pelle, you can do it, I know it. Bump set to Matis, hand set back. Very nice. Good. In this two person exercise, we have the focus on ball control and on setting. All right, now we will have ball control by, uh, while playing over the net. We will divide our court in three parts because we have six players right now. And we will play one with one on the other side with my partner with three contacts. We will also have a two meter line. Like in indoor volleyball, three meter line, we will have a two meter line drawn with a foot in the sand. Because after our reception, our set should have a quality that brings us to an attack close to the net and the attack can be a line shot to my partner or a hand set over the net to my partner so we play with each other after four crossings of the net we will have a short break <sighs> breathe and then we will start all over again but first we have to draw the lines in the sand Three narrow courts, two meter zone. Thank you, girls and boys. Okay, one with one, three contacts. Third contact should be within the two meter zone. Okay, perfect, Pelle and Matis. Perfect. It can also be a handset. You don't have to play the shot now. Pelle, 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 stop. Try to set the ball a little bit higher, two, three meters, that you will have more time to do the shot. All right? After four crossings, please take a short break. Otherwise, it's an endurance competition and not an improvement of our ball control skills. Please, Matis, beach volleyball technique, obey the rules. 
Achse. Und sauber. Okay, Lina und Josephine, start all over again. Careful. Order. And the goal is to control the ball in reception and to control it towards the net with our set. Yeah, the set was better, Pelle, the height was good. Super. Okay, this easy warm-up exercise is one with each with the other partner and it puts an emphasis on setting the players must learn to set the ball also from backcourt towards the net area so that they can attack or play close to the net again setting here is the main goal Okay, the next exercise we will show with eight players because we will divide the court in two half courts, eight meters deep again and with a two meter line again, but it's not that necessary. We will play and force the players to be in a two person reception formation. Two person, Emma, Stefan, and we will play the reception only from the outside player. Okay, so we will always play line shots or hand sets towards the line. Second player will be the setter. And then the ball will be played towards the partners over there. We play two with two and not against two. Okay? So almost the same like in the one-to-one one -one exercise with each other. But we force you in a narrow game concept because we will keep you in a two-person formation in half court. Okay, please take your positions. Very good, Emma. Super. Once again. Please let me know when you had four reps, when you had four repetitions. <laughs> when you had four, you switch from the inside to the outside. Okay, good lift, Marlena, good. Very nice, Josefina. Good. Marina, a little bit more of a lift. Catch it when it's the wrong player, Marina. Catch it. And Josefina, when you had four repetitions, we switch from inside to outside. Switch from inside to outside. And you switch over to the other net side because of the wind and the sun. Okay, then you switch to the other net side. Same all over again.
Hier, Marina. Go, go, go. Very good footwork, Lina, bravo. It's of course a practice for young players and they don't want to repeat and repeat and repeat all the time. They also want to play a little bit in between. That's why we do the same game form that we played with each other now against each other. Of course, we practice with eight players on one half on one court divided in two half courts. It's dangerous, so the ball that will travel over to the other side is dead. Yeah? You may not run into the other court. All right? Service? Easy service, easy service, underhand serve, and we play with jumps. All right? Two versus two to 11 points. Half deep court. Matis, we force them to play in the narrow game concept that gives them a lot of control over the ball. The, the angle first pass that we know from indoors is not the best pass, first pass in beach volleyball. And here they have to play the first pass in front of them. With an easy line shot here. And after four sets, we switch from the ref right to the left side. Setting, however, should still be low, two to three meters high. I got it for you. Switch after five points, Matis. We flipped her. What's the score? Okay, we will now practice the narrow game concept on full court, which is much more difficult because we need to know where to play the first pass. I know you all know it and we will show it on the videotape and we will show the exercise. We will play, always go back in the two-person reception formation, always play the attack build up with the right direction of the first pass with a low two to three meter set. One team will play a deep angle standing shot. The other team will play a deep line shot on the player so that the exercise will work easily. After four receptions so that after everyone has received the balls, the ball Fifth ball will be played against each other. After, after the fourth ball, we will finish the rally. We will kill the ball and then jump. All right? Please collect the balls a little bit from me. We start the fifth jumping. Deep angle shot, Matis. Deep angle from this side. Okay, line shot from this side. Hey, hey. Okay, now against each other. Now we finish the rally. Hey! 
Okay? Okay, we have to explain a little bit. We will have the middle line again as a help for our players. Please draw the middle line again. We will play on full court, but we need the middle line. And we need this line just to control, as a control, for the coach, for the player himself. If he or she plays the first pass into the right direction and not an angle pass across the full court. Okay? Okay, line shot. Standing line shot. Okay, e a little bit easier. Perfect. Deep angle. And now we kill it. We kill it without the block. Oi. All okay, Pele? All right. Okay. Next one. Deep angle shot. Nice. Okay, line shot. Go, 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 go. Okay, guys, we are one more time. Ole. And kill it, kill it, Pella. Okay, just to explain it one more time. The left side player as a right-hander will play the first pass towards the position three, a little bit left of position three, one meter off the net. One more time, it was too close. My throw was too close. Too close. Okay. And the right side player as a right-hander We'll play the first pass in front of him, between positions two and three, one meter off the net. Just as high that the handset is possible. As an ideal first pass, it's not always possible when there are speedy serves, but this is what we aim at. Okay. One more time, we start with Mats. One more, one, no, one, one more time. Okay. And against each other. Okay. Much better. We have the helpline here in order to see if the ball stays in our narrow game concept. All right. Deep angle shot, line shot, okay? Nice. Stop, stop. Deep angle. We start all over again. Okay, deep angle, line shot. And Keep the ball, the first pass in front of you. Keep it in front of you. Okay, girls, try to hit the ball precisely towards the player you want to go to, okay? Line shot, Josefine. Second reception. Now comes the third. Okay, third. Now the fourth. Deep angle to Josefine and please play a first pass. And now against each other. Against each other. Finish the rally. Finish the rally. 
Okay. Okay, girls, try to invest, invest a little bit more in setting. Okay. Aim your arms towards the attacking point. Okay, the same with the handset. Your shoulders should be perpendicular to the ball trajectory going to the attacking point. Okay. First four standing and then jumping against each other. Emma, line shot. One more time, Emma. We start with Emma again. Okay, go, go. Okay. Precise shot. Precise. And now, now we will finish it against each other. Stop. Setting mistake. Setting error. Okay. Wait a little bit with your running timing. This is also a common mistake that the girls are at the net too early, like in indoor volleyball. They will not be able to outrun or to rescue the ball when it's not a good reception. Okay, we will now, now go on the full court in the two-man reception formation and make a very easy exercise in order to practice our narrow game concept, especially a focus on the timing of the setting player. When we are in the reception formation with two players, all we have to focus on is reception, right? All following actions are not in our mind. Just reception, reception, reception. Okay, the moment I see that I will not be the receiving player, I will move one or two steps forward, as you all know. Okay, the moment my partner will touch the ball in reception, I follow up, I run, I put my body in the setting area, in the right direction of the attacking point and set the ball. So there's a little bit of waiting, of observing my partner from the middle and then I run. The quicker or the speedier the surf comes, the less weight we have in the middle, right? So with this little exercise we'll practice it. I will knock on the ball. This is the moment that he knows he will not be the receiving player. He moves two steps and then I throw the ball. He will set and I will jump and catch the ball with two hands. Ola, would you please show it one more time with Mats? All right. Okay, all right. Again, from the left side, we will have the perfect setting spot here, one meter off the net, a little bit left from the middle, from the right side, for right-handed players. We will have it in front of the receiver between positions two and three. All right, boys? So we will practice four times in a row from the same player, knock on the ball, throw the ball and set it, catch it. On this side as well, please. In pairs. Here. Here. One more pair over there. One more pair. Here's Afina. Alternate with the second pair, please, Matt. Von einer Seite, oder? Ja. 
four times the same player. Emma, knock on the ball, please, so that Josefina knows when she has to move. Keep on practicing, please. Again, from the right side, the perfect per first pass is between positions two and three. From the left side, it's a little bit left of the middle. Easy to see here. Okay, in this easy exercise, the boys and girls make the transition from the half court that we had before to full court beach volleyball, but they still keep their attack built up in the half court. This is the goal here, to still exercise the narrow game concept. And Mattis, please act competition-like and not stupid. <laughs> Very nice. So from the right side, girls and boys, of course, try to keep the throw the first pass simulation between position two and three to play the pass to the perfect setting spot, to the ideal setting spot. Please also exercise from the left side, first pass. A subordinated goal of this exercise is the right timing of the setting player. Two steps forward when he, see, he or she sees that he or she will not be the receiving attacker, a little bit of hesitation after one or two steps and then the follow-up of the ball following the first pass, getting into the setting spot in balance and set the ball. A little bit of hesitation after one or two steps, Emma. Knock on the ball, hesitation and then quick and balance. Very good. All those exercises in this practice were quite easy because with the underhand serve or we threw the ball towards the net as a first pass. But introducing the overhand serve to beach volleyball to this group of young people changes the whole situation dramatically. The serve outpowers the reception in youth and junior volleyball, especially in girls volleyball. That's why I have it as a principle that the reception should be able, the receiver should be able to receive her or his own serves. So if we are able to play jump serve with 100k, we should also be able to receive it. But that's not the reality. In youth volleyball and youth beach volleyball, the surf outpowers the reception and that's why reception has to be emphasized in practice. There is no service training without reception training. Okay, Emma? Okay, as soon as we change our education from the underhand surf to the overhand surf, we have to make the transition from kids volleyball to senior volleyball because the ball will travel faster and we will not be able unfortunately to bring the body perfectly behind the ball. Most of the times the serves come quick and low and we have to receive them laterally. That's what we are going to practice now with the whole attack build up that we had before. First in a four person exercise with a normal two player formation. One player will serve from six meters. The other player, the fourth player will catch the set and roll it back to the server. 
our main goal is to bring our platform, our reception platform, into the ball's trajectory as soon as we see the trajectory, as soon as we see where the ball will travel to. I see it, I bring the, the arms there, maybe a step will, flow, will follow immediately, yeah, but we will not be able to get behind the ball most of the times. I will get back to that during the exercise a lot of times. The boys will start, please. We we'll play 10 serves and then we will change. And when you see that he has no problem, you will make them quicker and speedier. And Matas, bring your platform into the ball's line as soon as possible. A little bit of an optimistic reception. <laughs> and push it with a steering motion towards the net. The arms are always off the body. Not close to the body, but off the body. Nice. Ten times. A little bit speedier. He, he's such a good receiver. That's what happens when you get... Wait, 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 wait. This is exactly what happens when you make the first, when you make the step first. Make the step and you are hit here. But instead try to pull out your arms first and then make the step and everything is easy. As soon as you see where the ball would travel to. <laughs> Hamas? Okay, we switch. Server and receiver will change with setter and catcher. 10 times again. Okay, get your arms out. Yes. Very nice off the body, your arms. A little bit speedier, Onachan, please. Yeah, very good coach's serve. Okay, perfect. Good setting. And mat your arms first. Okay. Keep your eyes on the ball. Okay. Okay, switch again. You see, wait. That was exactly what I was talking about. You make the step and the ball is already there. Okay. Arms first, platform, and keep away, keep your body away from the ball. Okay. Yeah. And you can see the ball even earlier. The ball's line. The ball's flight path. Yeah. You don't like those. This is what happens when you move your body. <laughs> nice, good. Bravo, Ole. Yeah, okay. A little bit earlier, I know you have a good anticipation. Okay. Okay, good. Very nice on our chan that you kept your body frontal. Perfect. What Onachan shows very nicely, wait, is not only the lateral reception, but that he keeps his hands closed, plays the ball, keeps his hand closed, and then takes them apart. So keep them closed long enough.
a little bit longer, deeper, deep serve please, helps him, deeper, deep serve, but yeah, perfect demonstration on chan okay, the goal here is learning a competition reception against speedy serves, float or spin serves and as explained the player should play, bring his playing platform out first and then the step follows immediately. Arms first, perfect. Perfect Malena. Wait, la, slow, slow, slow. Emma, please wait until Emma has reached her position, then wait again, and then you serve. More footwork, then you can position yourself better, Malena. First the arms, then a little step, just as far as necessary. When the ball is very slow, you can run behind the ball, but these are not very slow. Perfect. Arms first. This is your favorite exercise, Lena. Okay. Wait a little bit more, Malena. And now you wait again, and then. You have to be a little bit lower. Arms first was good, but you are too upright. No, stop, 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 stop. There was a misunderstanding. You are too upright while playing the ball, not before. You can be like that when she serves, but then you were too upright. You have to be a little bit lower. Perfect. Okay, very quick, good anticipation, but still too upright. Very good, arms out, platform out first. Platform, yeah, and you have this difficult serve as well. Wait. Josefine, you can also go a little bit game-like behind the camera here. Okay, and then it's more game-like. Okay. Okay, yeah, that was a difficult one. One more, please. That was not the best one. All right. After having learned and practiced the reception technique a little bit, of course, after the exercise, we want to have it in a competition-like form. The only difference to the normal competition, or the differences are, we will play on a designated receiver, on a predetermined receiver. Okay, we will cut the open reception situation and we will make it a closed situation to make it easier in the beginning. Of course, the open reception, reception situation is the most difficult aspect of the game, but we cannot start our reception practice with the most difficult aspect. All right, that's why we serve now on one designated receiver, four serves from one player to one receiver, then we finish the rally, normally, while jumping everything. Then the other team will serve, four times on one player and so on. After everyone serves, we will switch sides and we will play up to 21 points. Yeah. Alright, if 
we don't hit into the area of the designated receiver and the other one does not receive the ball the server will get the point if the other one receives the ball the not designated player and it comes to a set the reception team the receiving team will get the point all right boys want to start yes. cool Focus just on reception. Your mind lies only on reception. And now it's easier. If the receiver manages to keep the ball in front of himself he will have a lot of advantages not only keeping a good observation of the ball and of the opponent he will also be able to take nice approach paths easy ones the same applies to a low set if the set is low enough, the observation of the opponent is easy by peripheral vision. If the set is high, we have to take our eyes off the ball, off the opponent, off the ball and so on. Na na na. Touch the line. After 16 serves, we switch sides. <laughs> Concentration on reception first, on the first pass. Keep the ball in front of you. Go, go, go! Okay, that was a nice attack build-up. Go, go, go! Easy, controlled. Very nice. That was a narrow and low game concept by Emma and Josefini with a lot of ball control. The target of this practice. Okay, control, very nice. A little bit lower, Lina. A little bit closer to yourself. All right, that was our masterclass, my masterclass for the young kids of 13 to 18 years. We had both genders here and everyone could see that when we introduce the serve everything changes dramatically. So we will keep on with these sort of master classes. We will practice 
reception of course and serving it both belongs together another main highlight was the narrow game concept you saw a lot of games and with each other a lot of exercises to practice the narrow and low game concept setting of course would be a very very important topic that you cannot highlight highlight three or four different things in one exercise or in one practice i should say okay thank you boys and girls for today's practice and thank you for your attention <laughs>